Well, good morning. Today is Monday, October 16th. It's about 10-ish this morning. I don't even know what time it is. 10.30 maybe. Today, I decided I'm gonna go out and play a little round of golf. I haven't played in a good while. In fact, it's been probably close to a year since I played. So I decided to come out to Valley Green Golf Course here in Goldsboro, or I guess it's Edders, Pennsylvania. Let's see, maybe it says on the card, the scorecard here. Edders, Pennsylvania. Beautiful course, I played out here before. Actually, when I first moved to Pennsylvania is the last time I played golf, and that was, again was probably a year ago. So, pretty excited to, to break it out again. I'm stiff, so I'm sure I'm gonna be playing awful. I'm awful to begin with. So, um, yeah, let's have a good time. Um, of course, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna take you along uh, on our journey throughout this course. So See before we get started, what I'll do is I'll show you some of my gear. I have a Mizuno golf bag. My first set was a Mizuno golf set. I actually upgraded recently. Um, you know, actually, I, I guess I did play probably six months ago or so, but I upgraded to these Titleist T300s. Good for beginners. Um, I went and got fitted and everything, and that's what I went with. I still have a couple of Mizuno clubs in here. Um, clubs that I didn't have, of course, I kept. My putter, which isn't covered right now, which is not great, but it's an old Bettinardi putter. Um, nice, nice putter. I'm getting used to that still as we go. I have a Mizuno 5 wood. I have a Epic Flash for my driver, which I'll show you it again once we start playing. The rest of it's pretty much going to be my Titleist set, and I'll show you along the way. I have a hybrid as well, which I'll break out, but I need to get going, I guess. So stay tuned. I'll see you at hole one. So again, Valley Green Golf Course, hole one is a par four. I'll be playing from the whites, not the blues. So 288 yards, par four. There is some water out there, which I'm sure I'll end up in. My miss is to the right. Camera may not pick it up, but I'll, I'll explain as we go. So let's go get set up. So I'm still here at one. I have a, it looks like a group out there in the fairway, so I'm not gonna go just yet, but I wanted to show my driver. It's an oldie, but it's decent. And again, I do have a Mizuno driver at home. I'm just used to using this Epic Flash. So that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm set up, just waiting for it to clear up. And of course there's Old Glory flying in the wind. Again, this is hole one. Unfortunately, I lost that in the air, so I'm going to try to find it, and then I started thinking, it's only 288 yards, probably should have slowed down, because I can drive that on good days. I don't think I got anywhere near them, because I think I would have heard from them by now, but I'm probably going to end up just dropping out here, because I have no idea where that ball went, and I'll tell you what, it sounded good. I was very stiff on the swing, but that's my first swing in, you know, probably six months or so. Oh, I think I see my ball, actually. Yeah, I definitely should have waited on driving that. We'll hold up, hold back here so I don't get, in, uh, get beat up. And as we sit and wait, we'll just enjoy this moment of zen, tranquility. Really nice course. Again, this is hole one. Hoping I have enough uh, space on here to record the whole thing. All right. So I was wrong. I couldn't find my ball, so I just dropped. We're gonna call that a mulligan. First mulligan on the first hole, pretty typical. I've already hit my second shot. And sadly, it was very short. Here it is. So, third shot, coming up. Third shot was hit, also super short of the green. I don't know why. I mean, this is typical, I always say, I don't know why. I'm just so afraid of overhitting it. So now I'm gonna drive the cart up and we're gonna go ahead and start putting. Probably gonna putt from the fringe. We'll see. I'll show you when we get there. All right, guys, what would y'all do in this case? The green is right there. The flag, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's right there. It's probably, I need to break out my rangefinder. So they're called? It's probably 40 yards, no, not 40 yards, 60 feet. 
I may putt it. But then again, I may pitch it or chip it. I'm going to chip. I'll let you know how it goes. So I did chip it. It wasn't crazy, but it's still pretty short, probably 20 feet. Let's see if we can see it back here. I got a cart waiting on me, I believe, so I probably got to get moving. I'll let you know how the putting goes. Okay, so on that last hole, on hole one, I, I managed to two putt. I had, I had the drop, which would have put me at three, four, short of the green, five. I'm going to go with six. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. So on to hole two. Hole two is a par four, 281 yards. Again, I'm going from the whites. I know it's only six yard difference. Um, don't know if I want to use my driver. I probably shouldn't. So I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to use maybe, maybe a three wood. If not that, I may use maybe a four iron. We'll see. I kind of just wing it. I'll let you know how it goes. So I decided I am going to use a four, four iron, excuse me. I don't use this club very often. In fact, I don't use my clubs at all as much as I should. A little bit hesitant. I have a feeling I'm going to lose the ball again, hoping that I brought enough balls with me. But this is pretty typical. This is a below average golf day, AKA a below average golfer, me. So I'll let you know how this one goes. So I just hit my drive off the hole two. It was very short, very short. Um, trying to slow down on my swinging. You see a lot of older guys that play and they swing very slow, but it's always so straight. Good thing is I can find this ball. So let's go find it. So that was embarrassingly short. Found my ball. That ball only drove probably 150 yards with a four iron, four iron. Humiliating. Well, here goes shot two. So that was so shanked. I shanked that ball. Hole number two, hit two, completely shanked. Here's my ball. There's the green. Not great, but at least I found it. So on the green, just so you know, that third shot, I overshot it. So this is actually hit number five on a par four. Six. The next hole was probably my favorite hole on the course, which is hole three. It is a par three, 150 yards from where I'm playing. I could make it there probably with a nine iron, but because I've been hitting so soft today and I haven't played in a while and I'm stiff, I'm gonna use a seven iron and hope that I make it on the green. Probably won't, let's be real. I got some people out there right now, so I'm gonna hold off, let that group finish up. I do have a single behind me that's kind of rushing me a little bit. He's not trying to, it's just tough when you're behind a group of four. I used to get so bothered by it, and I still do, but I'm just gonna take it easy today. Just ignore them, right? Anybody else have those problems when they go golfing? Anyway, I'll let you know how this one goes. That's pretty typical. Okay, so let me give you the rundown on what happened. I'm now on hole four. The group in front of me decided to wave me through, which is nice of them, but I put the pressure on me. So, I mean, that's the excuse I'm using for topping the hole, the ball on uh, hole three. I ended up finishing that hole because I rushed in five, which is good for me, uh, considering I topped the one. Hole four, they were all standing around the, uh, uh, the, the tee box, drew a blank just staring at me. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna skip this hole completely. And I just went past them, and now I'm in the middle of the hole, but I have a group in front of me, of course, so. This day's getting rough now, and I'm letting people get to me, like I said I wouldn't do. Madness. Anyway, I'm just gonna drop out here in the fairway and see what I can do. So yeah, so, again, I shouldn't let them bother me, right? I just said I wasn't gonna do that. Nothing more intimidating, not intimidating, aggravating that a group of retirees that think that the course belongs to them. Again, they were nice. I'm just overthinking it. I still like feeling rushed. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hit my next shot short of the green as usual. So now I'm on hit three. I don't know. Cheating. <laughs> All right. Well, I once again hit that ball incredibly short, probably 20 feet short of the green. 
and look behind me. Pack of four. They're rushing. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore them for now. Here we go with my next hit. All right, now I'm actually very, very proud of this shot. Fun fact, they hit the ball about 20 feet from me just now. So I don't know what their deal is. Whatever, let's have fun. So in case you were wondering where I hit that shot, I'm proud of that. Anyway, let's tap it in and move on. Okay, so hole five is a good one. It's a par four, 356 yards. Gonna break out the driver and see what we can do. So if you guessed that I was gonna hit an absolute beaut of a drive, I got news for you. You were wrong. I lost another ball out here in the woods somewhere. So that's two lost balls? I believe two. That's unfortunate. Oh well, we're gonna cheat again. We're gonna go up here by the porta potty so I can get away from these old, probably really nice men. Right? I'm gonna try to be nice. The group in front of me is already off the green, so they're rolling very quick. In fact, we're gonna drop right around here. So let's see if I can lose another ball. So on that one, I used my pitching wedge, which was way too short of a club because I'm well short of the green again. It was really nice and in the air, but it's so short. And to be honest with you, I was a little bit afraid to put a lot of power into it, just because I don't want to overshoot and then hit the group in front of me. But anyway, we're right out there. So I'm gonna go pitch this up, hopefully put it in, doubt it, and we'll move on. So I somehow managed to hit that ball up on the green, which I've lost track of my count. Can anybody add that up for me? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna guess after this, but let's tap this in. So let me show you where we're at. There's my ball. There's the hole. Let me see if I can get video of it. Stay tuned. One thing that I'm terrible at is lining up the ball. So normally I just hit it in the direction of the hole. I'll take it. It is a once in a million shot for me, that putt. So I'm taking it and I'm giving myself a par. Don't judge, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kidding, by the way, you can judge me on that last one. I would judge myself, that's wrong. But I'm gonna leave it as a par because I already wrote it down. Next one's another par three, which I enjoy. All right, let me show you what we got. Par three. Hole six, 135 yards. So it's a shorty. So I'm gonna go pitching wedge and just see what happens. I bet I'm short again. We'll see. And while we're waiting, let's take a moment to acknowledge how beautiful this course is. Pennsylvania, here I am in anyway, has some of the greenest courses I'm used to. Coming from Texas, where they're not so green. This area doesn't do it justice, but just a really, really nice course. Try not to rush up on these guys in front of me because I don't wanna have to make them feel rushed like the group behind me makes me feel at this time. Look how short this one looks, 135 yards. Ball is set. Red flag out there is where we're hitting. I just aim straight. Usually, I bet I end up in the woods. Right over there, bet you. Now that shot was an absolute zinger. Very, very straight, straight as it can be. The problem is I overshot it about 25 yards. So definitely some dialing in that needs to be done around here, but I guess that's what practice is for, right? Stay positive and just try to make a good shot. I don't know. Anyway, let's get down to the green. shot that shot this is the backdrop that stops it from hitting this home and there's my ball and there's our flag way up there in the front of the green I definitely have some work to do on the green but still such a long way to go why can't I get this figured out oh well I bet you I can hit this in in three shots should be two but it'll be about three or four for me
And that, my friends, is another bogey. I'm sorry, double bogey to add to the collection of bogeys plus that I have. All right, moving on to hole seven. So hole seven is a par four, 371 yards. Looks like it's possibly dog leg to the right. I don't know, I'll see when I get up to the tee box. So you're not gonna believe this. I wish I would've got it on video. Another lost ball. So that's what, three or four lost balls through seven holes? Actually, we're not even done with the seventh hole. So off to a wonderful start. Anyway, let's go find a good place to drop ball and well, cheat again. Stay tuned. Okay, so that was, I'm gonna say my third shot because technically it should have been my third shot with a drop. Now, am I supposed to go up as far as I did? No, but I gotta say my third shot was actually pretty nice. I landed on the green, which I'll show you when we get up here. I do have a red ball now because remember on the last hole, actually the same hole, I lost another ball. So now we're down to a red ball. Whatever I can find in the bag, right? We just keep rolling with. Anyway, pulling up to the green now. I'm gonna show you here in just a second where I landed. Okay, so we just pulled up to the green. We, as in me and you all for watching. There's the hole. Can anybody see the red ball? It's not close, but at least it's on the green. My camera may be fogging up. Anyway, let's go put this in. All confident. Let's go put this in. <laughs> now remember, I don't line up my balls. I don't know how. I just hit. I mean, I'll take it. Well, it's still quite a ways away. I thought it was a little bit closer than it actually was. That'll work. Okay, so I am now at hole eight, which you probably can't see what it says there. It is a par four, 388 yards. The reason I'm not going up on it is I want you to see at the turn some of the snacks that we can have. Should we get a hot dog, hot sausage, fries, burger? I'm not gonna get anything, to be honest with you, because guess what? They're right behind me again. So I'm actually sitting over there, waiting for the group in front of me, so I'm not a pest, you know, right on their you know, rear end. Well, he's right on me. It's just crazy. I hear the ball drop about 10 yards behind me. I just don't know what's wrong with people. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on to hole eight. So I just drove my ball on hole eight with a fan club sitting there watching me. So that kind of irritated me. Wasn't a good drive, of course, because the pressure was on. I had a bunch of old, retired jerks staring at me. So I just hit my second shot, and you're gonna find this very interesting and kind of new for me. It was a beautiful sounding shot, but I lost it. So I have no idea where that ball went. I know that I had a guy standing right behind me basically waiting for me. So I may just do nine holes and call it a day. I know I said I wasn't gonna let people get to me, but that ship has sailed, so I have no idea where my ball's at. Interesting. But anyway, it's a beautiful day out. We're gonna drop right around here. Right, so I am back, now at hole nine. Ended up hitting a six on that last par four. Um, there he is. Anyway, there's a group in front of me. There's a group of four, so it's a little bit slower. But again, I'm in no hurry. I just, maybe they feel the same way. Oh well, let's see how this hole goes. I am back. I'm at hole nine. I didn't record it, but had a couple interesting shots. My drive went about 50 yards out of the fairway. Then I just hit it just to get it back in the green. And then my third shot actually hit the flagpole, and I'm actually pretty close to the to the hole. I mean, not close at all, but considering how I was doing, I'll take it. In case you were wondering, I didn't make par. I two putted it, so a bogey, which again, I'll take at this point. Now I may go to hole 10, we'll see. This guy is literally riding me. So I, th I think I'm actually gonna end it. We'll see, if I come back on, then we're playing more. Or I'm doing my conclusion. Either way, it's been a beautiful day. 
some irritating people, but that's typical at a golf course. Anyway, see y'all in a bit. Well, I did decide to go ahead and end it. I just packed up my truck. Um, overall, I had a good time. Again, I wish I could have played the whole 18. A little bit sore. Let's use that as an excuse, not the rude rudeness behind me. But anyway, maybe they had pressure on them too. I don't think so. But nonetheless, it was a good day. Good way to get back into it. I did the math, and if I did it right, I shot a 45 on the front nine, which of course isn't good. So if anybody out there is a golf expert and wants to coach me for free, virtually, let me know. Or if anybody wants to put a word out to Tiger Woods or any of the big wigs out there to, to teach an old, slow, stiff, not very good golfer, I'm your guy. Let me know. Anyway, let's take a look at my scorecard. So I did the math and it looks like, again, I cheated a lot throughout this, but a 45 is the math that I did. I didn't use a calculator, I just kind of went probably wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I also ask that you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Please share. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of content. I'm trying to find something that I enjoy doing so I can show it with everybody. We have some more interesting things coming. Again, I have a Gettysburg video that I'm working on. We are going to look at some old classic muscle cars here pretty soon. Maybe some more golf. Let me know what you guys think. Until then, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. I really appreciate all your support and help with this. It's been, it's been fun. It's a lot of work, but it's been fun. Until next time, y'all have a good day.